Hi guys, welcome back to the fundamentals of NumPy recitation. In this video, we'll be talking about common math operations that you'll be using in your homeworks for this course. We'll mainly talk about these five operations, broadcasting, uh, element-wise operations, reduction operations, comparison operations, and vector or matrix operations. Let's talk about broadcasting first. The simplest example of broadcasting can be given by combining a scalar value with an array. Let's say we have a NumPy array, uh, containing five elements ranging from zero to four. Here we can see that if we add a scalar value of 10 to the array, uh, each element in the array is incremented by 10. Uh, and we get values ranging from 10 to 14 instead of zero to four. Broadcasting can be done between arrays of different dimensions as well. Let's say we have a row array of shape one comma three uh, and a column array of shape four comma one. If we uh, add these two arrays, we'll get a NumPy array of shape 4, 3 with these values. And similarly, if we multiply these two arrays, uh, we'll get a NumPy array of shape 4, 3 with these values. Moving on to element-wise operations. Here we have two arrays, each of shape uh, 2, 3, random array 1 and random array 2. If we add these two arrays, what happens is uh, that the element at position 0, 0 in array 1 is added to the element at position 0, 0 in array 2 and that's how we get the value 1.914 in the sum of these two arrays. Uh, similarly, the element at position 0, 1 in array 1 is added to the element at position 0, 1 in array 2 and that's how we get uh, the value 0.6958 in the sum of these two arrays. The same operation is repeated for the rest of the elements as well. In the same way, we can also perform multipli uh, element-wise multiplication between these two arrays. The example is shown here. And the results for multiplication are shown here. Now let's multiply uh, the random array one with minus one and store it in a variable called temp underscore ARR. Uh, we now have negative values in temp ARR. In addition to element-wise addition and multiplication, we also have a function called ABS, in, uh, which stands for absolute. And if we pass uh, temp, uh, the temp ARR array to this function, it will uh, return a NumPy array containing the absolute value of each element present in temp ARR. Uh, we also have a function called SQRT, to which if we pass a uh, random array one, it will return the square root of each element present in random array one. Uh, the results for ABS function and the SQRT function are given here. Now let's talk about reduction operations in NumPy. Uh, here again, we have an array of shape two comma three. We can get the maximum value of uh, the array by calling np.max uh, and the minimum value by calling np.min. Uh, we can also compute the index at which the maximum value is present by calling np.argmax. Here we have also specified the axis argument. Notice that if we do not specify the axis argument uh, in these functions, we get a scalar value. Otherwise, we get a array. We can also compute the index of the minimum element of the array by, um, by calling np.argmin function. Similarly, in order to compute the sum, mean, standard deviation, and norm of a NumPy array, we can call uh, np.sum, mean, std, and norm on the array. Now let's talk about comparison operations. If we have two NumPy arrays of the same shape, uh, say two comma three, uh, we can perform element-wise comparisons such as the greater than operation, uh, less than operation and not equal to operation on these NumPy arrays. These comparisons will return a NumPy array containing Boolean values and it will have the same shape as uh, random array one and random array two. We can also call functions like all and any on these uh, on the resulting Boolean NumPy arrays. So all function tests whether all array elements belong to uh, along a particular axis evaluate to true or not. And the any function tests whether uh, any array elements along a particular axis evaluate to true or not. Uh, now let's talk about vector or matrix operations. 
here we first consider two uh, vectors called array one and array two. Uh, we can multiply these two vectors by calling np dot matmul, or we can also use the at symbol to compute the multiplication of these two uh, vectors. Even for multiplying a matrix and a vector, we can use np dot matmul or the at symbol. In addition uh, to multiplication. We can also perform the dot product between two matrices. Uh, here we have taken uh, two matrices as arguments, but these can also be vectors. And uh, if the matrices have only two dimensions, the dot product can also be computed using the at symbol. Uh, now let's talk about uh, the tensor dot operation. It's important to learn about this operation because you'll be using this function in homework two, where you'll be working with convolutional neural networks. Let's see how this function works. Here we have two arrays, A and B of shape three comma four comma five and four comma three comma two respectively. In order to perform tensor dot operation, we first need to specify the axis along which some reductions are intended. For array A, the axis are one comma zero. And for array B, uh, the axis are 0, 0,1. For array A, this corresponds to 4 and 3. And for B, also this corresponds to 4 and 3. As you can see, when we perform the tensor dot operation, the axis along which the sum reductions take place are removed in the output and all the remaining axes, which in this case correspond to uh, 5 and 2, are spread out as different axes in the output array. And we get uh, the uh, output of shape 5 comma 2. Here we can see that 3 comma uh, 4 and 4 comma 3 are removed. And we get uh, an array of shape 5 comma 2. The tensor dot operation can also be written in the form of a four layer for loop. Uh, and we verified the values returned by the function and the loop here. You can see that all the values are true. And therefore, our implementation of tensor dot in the form of a for loop is correct. So that's all uh, regarding math operations in NumPy. See you in the next video.